The discovery of the black boxes enabled investigators to follow the final moments of American Airlines Flight 965. There is never one single item that, or error that typically brings an airplane down. There's an error chain, and a chain is made up of many links. As they were approaching from a distance out, the controller offered them a straight in landing. Are you able to approach runway one liner? Would you like to shoot the one nine straight in? Uh, yeah, we'll have to scramble to get down. We can do it. At the time the crew accepted the approach to runway one nine, they were too high, too fast, and too close in to safely make this approach. The flight crew now must study the approach charts and reprogram the computer. Meanwhile, the airplane is moving at more than five miles per minute. Can American Airlines uh, 965 go direct to Roswell? No. And then do the Roso arrival, sir. Affirmative. Take the Roso 1 and runway 19er. When the controller said affirmative, take the Roso 1, he meant use the Roso 1 arrival procedure. Although the crew thought he meant to go direct to Roso. That's not a good idea because to proceed direct to Roso is the last point before landing, not the first point that you should be targeting. And this miscommunication really dealt with the pilot believing one thing and the air traffic controller believing another. Where are we? The crew looks at their charts in front of them and they see the fix Roso and it is identified by the letter R. So they naturally put R into the computer thinking it will take them directly to Roso. The computer offers a list to choose from, but unbeknownst to the pilots, none is Roso. The system is designed to place the one that is closest to your airplane first. And so here was an R that showed up first, and he selected that. Captain Tafuri hastily presses the execute button. Unfortunately, the crew does not know that R stands for another fix that is 132 miles away behind them at about their seven o'clock position, and that's where the airplane starts to go to. The plane was simply doing what it was programmed to do. In this case, it's to fly to Bogota, 130 miles away. More than a minute into the turn, the pilots are unaware they're flying away from Kelly and dangerously off course. The first officer's getting the charts out, the the captain's getting the charts yeah, out. Know where we're headed. They're hey, trying to tune radios. To no one's flying the airplane. No one's watching what happens. And they assume that the automation is going to take care of them. Sometimes it will, but in this case, it didn't. Where are we? We're going out to... Uh, Let's go right to Tolua, first of all, OK? Uh, in this case, okay, the, the airplane stuff, got uh, in front of them. It was flying what was selected. And in fact, it was flying in beyond the pilot's recognition of where it was supposed to be traveling. The pilots had lost what's referred to as situational awareness. Left turn, so you want a left turn back around? Nah, hell no, here. let's press on well, we're to... We're pressing aware, though. Tolua. Once they became on confused right. and disoriented, yeah, that's the time to click off the automation and to basically uh, abandon the approach, Cali. climb to the minimum safe altitude and to, and to go to Cali. Right. Altitude. Instead of abandoning the approach and gaining altitude, Flight 965 continued its deadly descent. 